What up everybody, it's your girl Jeannie. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be doing the word of the week, all right? And if you have been following along with my channel and supporting me, you know that the word of the week are is just a video about um, all the downloads, all the intuitive thoughts that I have been given and I make a video out of it in hopes that, you know, speaking about it can help others and that we can start a conversation. You feel me, go back and forth because I really don't have, you know, spiritual leaders. Like I don't have people telling me what to do with the information that I have. I just have you, you feel me? I just have y'all. So when I make these videos, I do definitely want to start conversations, you know, spark ideas, try to figure out um, how this applies in real life. All right, so let's get into it. The first thing that I got was um, blessed plans, all right? Um, <clears throat> and when I thought about this, when I was getting this download, I was thinking about a Bible verse that keeps that says, keep knocking and the door shall be open unto you. Um, and sometimes we have blessed plans in this lifetime and we don't even know like why it's our plan. Sometimes we don't even want it to be our plan. Sometimes we have to do things in this lifetime <clears throat> because... It was a blessed plan, not because you want to, not because it's something that you thought of. Like, for instance, I never thought like I would be reading tarot on a tarot channel. Like, that's not the blessed plan that I thought was going to start off in my life or where I was going to start in life. Um, but sometimes it's not about where you are and what you're doing. It's a part of the blessed plan. So, for instance, if my blessed plan was to be... To be a speaker in some type of way and I had to start off at tarot in tarot um, my blessed plan had nothing to do with tarot you feel me but it had something to do with my communication me talking and having a platform so sometimes we get into jobs sometimes we get into hobbies sometimes we get into things that isn't really our blessed plan that isn't really the path but it's supposed to show you um, where you can take it, where it leads to the, it I, it helps you identify what you're really supposed to do. So I feel like in our lives, we're supposed to look at the things we are gravitating towards, the things that we like to do, the things that we are doing naturally, or the common denominator of things that we're doing. Like if I have a job where I'm a manager, I'm still talking and managing people. You know what I mean? So it's just like, you got to find the common denominator in what you have been doing your whole life to figure out your blessed plan. And once you figure out, like, I have been talking in every single job that I've had, like, maybe my blessed plan is talking. It just helps you to identify um, avenues and things that you're supposed to be doing instead of questioning what your life purpose is, because often... The universe will show you in small ways. You will be interested in it. You will be led towards it. It will be the common denominator in everything that you've been doing. Um, so spirit really wants you to look out for your blessed plan, okay? And it could be hidden in disguise in your everyday things and the everyday job or work that you're doing, okay? <clears throat> I also, I also was getting that. The things that we are led to in this lifetime, the things that we do, the jobs that we um, partake in, the people that we meet are little things that are supposed to prepare us for other things. Like everything is connected. Nothing is a coincidence. Um, and you're supposed to see, again, the common denominator in the things that are happening around you. Like, for instance, if... Like for me, if I keep trying to hide myself, you feel me? Because I don't like attention, y'all. I'm a hermit, but I have Aquarius placements. You feel me? I'm a, I'm a Virgo rising, okay, with uh, an Aquarius moon. So I, I don't like being out in public, but I'm naturally drawn to be in public. I'm naturally the center of attention. I'm naturally that star energy and it's hard for me because like I I love solitude like I love 
being hidden i love like i love that shit you feel me it makes me feel safe it makes me feel comfortable i hate being looked at i hate being questioned um but in the common denominator my whole life i have been put in situations where people want to see me they want to know more they're looking into me every single time i try to hide i'm forced out i'm doxxed you feel me somebody comes in and identify as Barbara you feel me and they put my picture out and I can't be Jeannie and I feel like the common denominator on um the next thing that I'm supposed to do is to um really show myself be in that Aquarius energy be in that star energy but shit y'all like who wants to do that like who you like I know there's like I know there's probably people watching this video right now that would be like me i do want to be out in public i do want to be popular I, I do want to be in the crowd but more people more problems more evil more energy like i i cherish my peace you feel me i cherish my control there it is i i cherish my control and what i can control is myself you feel me and the more I allow people in on myself, the more people want to control me. And that just, it just don't work. It just don't be working out. So I try to hide. I try to be um, anonymous. Okay, magenta and shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> but in the common denominator, every single time I try to hide or out it, every single time I try to, you know, stay hidden, I'm forced into the public. Uh, when I started this channel, I thought I was just going to, you know, uh, be a little anonymous channel where I give little messages to a small group of people. We were, it was like therapeutic for me. It had nothing to do with popularity in my face, okay? But the common denominator, what I'm trying to say is, even though I'm led to do something every day, like the common denominator is public platform, um, being viewed being seen and i know like i'm holding myself back you feel me i know like i'm holding myself back from not doing what i've been led to do but like i don't want to do that shit. i don't want popularity like i don't <laughs> okay like that's not what i'm saying i want of course i want of course to be known and be out there i want my alter ego there it is i want my alter ego to be out there and be known but like People knowing my personal business, you feel me? <laughs> you feel me? People, mm -mm, mm -mm. okay. So I always wanted to do something under like anonymous energy. I always love doing stuff under like <sighs> undercover because it's just easier. Life's just easier like that. But what I'm seeing is that the common denominator is that if I actually want, you feel me, to take off. If I actually want to be in this blessed plan that I have to get used to being in the public eye even if I don't want to okay so that's how I got those two downloads that's how those two downloads um resonated with me all right and then another one that I got is to open your eyes to what we are and what we need to have it okay so when i started thinking about um those two downloads about blessed plans and it's not always what i'm doing but it's the common denominator of what i'm doing in my everyday life like talking and that if i want to spread the word i need to be out in public which i common denominator i'm in public but i'm not in public all the time and then the next one is to open your eyes to see okay what you need what we want and what we need to have it like like i said of course i want to take out anonymously <laughs> of course i want to be known but i don't want uh i don't want to be in the spotlight is what i'm trying to say um but what i need to have 
But what I need to do to be known is to be in the spotlight. So it's all contradicting. You feel me? I feel like it's even harder to do the things we know we're supposed to do because once you start doing it, you're in alignment, you're walking your path. And there's a lot of energies that don't want you to do that. Okay. And that's something I'm working through myself to get to what I want to have. Okay. Um, and then the last one I got about uh, silent manipulators, family. There's a whole lot of people silently manipulating people. All right. You can just look in um, the way they communicate their basic language, the things that they say to you. Um, for instance, like we have our phone in our hands 24 7, okay? 24 7. There's not a time where somebody does not have their phone in their hands, especially if you um, are with somebody and you see them constantly with their phone in their hand and they refuse to communicate with you. It's, it's silent manipulation. <clears throat> communication is the easiest form to build a bond a relationship and if somebody is unable to communicate with you okay in a way that's healthy in a way that's cathartic in a way that's in a collaborative way then that's like the first sign of silent manipulation all right these are the people that you want to stay away from um there's something going on where people are confusing people because you feel <clears throat> You feel a certain type of way. You feel like y'all have a bond, um, but somebody is refusing to communicate, refusing to build that bond, refusing to do something, but they want to stay in your life. Um, that's contra that's contradictory. Um, if somebody wants to stay in your life, but they don't want to do what it needs, they need to do to build that bond, they're obviously using you for something, okay? They're obviously getting something out of that interaction. You need to figure out what they are doing to, or what are they getting out of this interaction because it's not giving anything to you. Um, yeah. So that goes along with a, like another relationship issue where people don't want any like want they don't want any attachment to you. You feel me? But they're here for a good time. They're here for the energy. They're here for making good memories. They want to they want to be around you. You feel me? But they don't want to build a bond. Watch out for these um, silent manipulators, family. Watch out for these people who. Uh, say they want to rock with you, say they care about you, say they want to be friends with you, but refuse to take the steps to build that bond, to do this, okay, but they still want to be in your energy. These are energy vampires, okay, these are silent manipulators. <laughs> these are the type of people who will make you feel like they care about you, but when it comes down to actually caring about you, they're not there, they'll never be there, they won't do that, okay, and then you're left feeling abandoned you're left feeling like was i bugging like you're left feeling confused so watch out for the season of silent manipulators out here who just want to be in your energy for whatever reason okay but want nothing with you these are leeches these are vampires these could be people who are actually like monitoring monitoring you okay these could be like monitoring monitoring spirits all right they could be stalking you for another reason they have ulterior motives of what i'm trying to say okay um yeah and those were the intuitive downloads that i had this week y'all if you resonated with anything here give me a like comment down below and start the conversation if you want to talk about anything let's do it because like i said i make these videos to start conversations like to uh confirm to see if it resonates to see if y'all get something out of it that's the whole point so please hit me up in the comments let's talk about it let's see if you are feeling the same energy about blessed plans and uh, what you need to do to get it and all of the signs and synchronicity telling you what your life path is and what you're supposed to be doing in this life sign just by being in the common denominator of the background of everything that you do um tell me if you start to identify these things tell me if i helped at all all right i love you guys um thank you for watching this video know that i'm grateful and thankful for everybody who clicks and yeah peace